Yes, they were building the first railroad across Africa. And nothing stopped the imported workmen until the rails reached a place called Tsavo. Some said the delay was the fault of a young engineer who had brought to Africa his habit of failure. Others said it was the fault of two lions, man-eaters. and said, status quo, status quo. I'll make them work. You care for a cup of tea, Major? No, thanks. Discipline's what they need. You know, Major, today is, is one of their religious holidays. And yesterday? No, no. And the day before? No, no, Major. It's time for your quinine. Come and, mm. come and sit me down, you know. This African malaria is, is no thing to play with. Well, it may interest you to know that I got this malaria in India. Oh, pardon me. My mistake. India malaria. I must, I must remember that. Um, these Hindus. From the very beginning, I was against importing them. We should have employed the African native and beaten them to work. What are you trying to do, Major? Drown the malaria bugs? A contract is a contract. They will work. Now, uh, just a minute, Major, I, uh, uh, after all, Major... send a final report to Mr. Conway and the shareholders in the morning. He's become unfit for his responsibilities. Oh, the lad's young. He's been away from his bride for eight months. Don't forget that. Well. Well. Well, well. <laughs> Come on. Major. Hmm. Doctor. Doctor, allow me to introduce Madame Shakula of Mombasa. Dr. Angus McLean, our medical officer, late of Bullock, Sterling, Shore, Scotland. How do you do? Fipendi Kubaki, Hapa Mule. You want me to try to see what you're saying, Dr. No, no, no. Mule, you should have brought her here. Coco, Chapa, you and Mule. She's a cock. Mule. I was walking down the main thoroughfare of Mombasa when suddenly I smelled a most marvelous odor. I looked in an open window. There she was. Cooking in an iron pot. That is to say, she was standing there and the pot was there. Now, now in the pot was something marvelous. A decayed hip, but autumnless, I think it was. Well, if she's a cook, we better have a do with a bit of soap. Yes, that's a wonderful idea. Come on, come on. Take it, take it down to the river. Down to the river. Goodbye, Smoggy Lee Sue. I'm going to go in and get a little sleep, my medical friend. <laughs> Bit of a report, eh, Major? Yeah. Uh, eight months away. The lad's entitled to a bit of hanky-panky. What's that? 
think I'll go and see. See what? A bunch of lazy Hindus in a brawl? Contain Prasad, hi! Nothing. What sort of a trick is this? Kasi Shatari, hi! Larson, kill Muslim high. Kill me, come scatte. No work. Now this disturbance, you have a contract to build a railway. So get on with it. Lion? What are you talking about? There is no lion. Eat the koi share nearly high. Yes, sir. You get out of the way. Come for Jalo. What's all the excitement? This is all your fine example. Any excuse for not working. It's a lion, lad. They say there's a lion in camp. That's great. Kaparo, where's my guns? I'll take care of the little fellow. Hayward, no! You panic the workmen! Hayward, no! There's no lie, you fool! Hayward! <laughs> I don't care if he's related to the Prime Minister himself. I'm not going to endure this much longer. Ah, uh, Major, you've managed fine all these months. Yeah, in spite of him. He's, he's just a lad. He's my assistant, or supposed to be. This work stoppage isn't it enough without that. Well, that's that. Uh, Robert, did you, did you shoot anything? I think I shot one of the rings off Saturn. <laughs> if there ever was a lion out there, he's headed straight away for the Sahara. I did not authorize you to go out shooting. Sorry, sir. Very sorry, sir. If you don't change your attitude, Mr. Hayward, I shall recommend your recall to England. I commend it myself. I am not joking. You think I am? My beloved wife's father is a pompous ass. He thinks of pompous projects, hires pompous people, like yourself, try to carry them out. That is enough, Mr. Hayward. Well, not in the army, Major. I'll say what I please. I've had enough of you and my father-in-law's railway. I want to go home. The doctor wants to go home. The Indians want to go home. Now, why don't we just let the railway end here and all go home? Did you hear that? A stinking little engine going from nothing to nowhere. Why? So that Mr. Conway and his friends can drag the ivory out easier? So that a pack of idiots can ride down here in comfort and shoot their brother monkeys out of the trees? Oh, I know what's in your mind. It's very apparent to me now. It's you who've been putting these idiotic lion stories into the Indians' heads. Well, they're not going to break their contract, and you're not going to break yours. And you're going to stay here until every tie's down, till every rail is laid, until you've spent every second of your agreed time in the jungle. Now I'm in a conspiracy against him. Oh, he's a tired man. You know, Robert, when the trains begin to arrive, civilization will arrive too. Civilization. That's a noble word. Not enough to keep me rotting here. But, laddie, you've, you've given your word. There's some one ability. The contract doesn't fit, I don't have to wear it. Life's too short. Why don't you take a, a photo and have a look at it? What's the matter? Portuguese girl left it down by the river. Register his complaints against me. I'm afraid our dear stockholder's representative didn't note there isn't quite enough wood on board to keep steam up all the way. 
Afraid he's going to have a busy morning chopping wood in the jungle. <laughs> you know, you should have sent that new cook back with him. Run away already. Back through the bush. Back through the bush? You shouldn't have permitted that. There's nothing to do with it. Kapam saw us set out last night. Don't worry, Angus. She could strangle a rhino to death with her bare hands. Sahib. Tell me what you speak to you. Please, thank you. All right. Come on, doctor. Watch a conspirator conspiring. सब आपसे परमेश्वर की मेहरबानी हो गई आप लोग कहते कदार की मेहरबानी हो गई हमें श्वास सब हमारा काम रास्ता बनाने का मगर शेर को मारने का नहीं है He's saying their contract did not include a man-eating lion. Man, oh man, what lion would be eating them with all this good fresh beef around? <laughs> now listen to me. There's no such thing as a man-eating lion around. Omar, a jacking caro. I got brave man, sir. Ab mere baani kar ke isko saath le jao. Isne maharaja ke saath chikar kiya, magar baag ko mara. Hamay isko mansur kiya. Come on. Those are not cowards. This one's supposed to help kill tigers in India. Makes him an expert in Africa on lions. Hey, he's a fine specimen. Yeah, I'll humor them. Go for a walk in the bush. Hey, uh, it's a good idea. Just a moment, doctor. If you think you're going into the bush, you've got to... Uh, listen to me, laddie. When the opportunity came to go to Africa with you, I was a very happy man. All my life, pill-pushing in Bali. As a lad, I had dreams to see the jungles adventure and then come in here oh, it was a miracle but robert eight months in africa has been no more adventure than playing darts with the lads in the spread eagle tavern at ballot and now this lion oh no laddie you cannot ask me to stay in my tent no 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 <laughs> all right laddie Gosh, it's hot. Meeting a fresh lion? I see more game in, in the streets of Glasgow. Now, this is Wakamba country. The meat hungry kill. Get out! Get out! Get out! What's the matter? Tell the owl! Tell the owl! Tell the owl! Tell the owl! Tell the owl, sir! Answer me, Doctor. Was it those Maasai devils? With teeth that tore in half? Bit right through a skull? What are you doing here? Get back to work! Jolly Kampur Jow! Get back to work! I'm not going to be शेर मार रहा हम लोग नहीं जाते जब तक मेजर साहब नहीं आता गड्डी में जाने वाला तैयार है वेटिंग फॉर द ट्रेन टू कम ऑन नो दे आर नॉट द वेट टिल द मेजर गेट्स हियर इज ऑल हिज गेट बैक टू वर्क कम ऑन लेट्स गो गेट बैक बैक टू द कम ऑन मिस्टर हेवर्ड
You gotta let them eat, you know. Even if it's only that even mush. I fixed up something for you to eat. I'm holding him for the major. This is his responsibility. Keeping it for him. I haven't had a chance to talk to you all day. What about that girl? You gotta let me bury her decent. No. Oh, why not? If it was a lion that killed her, he'll be back as soon as it's dark to finish his meal. <laughs> Yes? In India, the jungle has many sounds. Hyena. It is a lion. The moon of all the time for clouds. find out, they'll panic. Help me bury him. Now. From Ziga. From Ziga, what to? <coughs> ah, Robert, you're just in time. I've got something extra special today. Hot scones, Scottish style. Good morning, Dr. McLean. I can't touch the stuff. Tell me you know. Oh, pardon me, sir. I, I thought you were Mr. Hayward. It's a... Nice to see you, Mr. Commissioner. Indeed it is. <laughs> Indeed it might be. Bit of lion trouble, eh? Uh, you might call it that. I was making my rounds and got wind of it from the Maasai. Bit of a rumble, eh? Uh, it were a bit of a rumble. Would you care for a drink, sir? Uh, I never touch it before sundown. Oh, sundown. I read in my almanac that there's a total eclipse of the sun in the northern regions today. <coughs> It'll be nice seeing you at, at the North Pole. Come along, sir. Mr. Commissioner. Hello, Mr. Haywood. Don't mind saying I'm glad to see you, sir. Uh, what's all this nonsense about a man-eating lion? Nonsense, sir? Oh, my dear young Haywood, have you seen the beast man-eating? What do you want me to do, dig up the bodies of the dead and show you? Well, indeed, uh, well, there's no need for you to lose your temper. I've had no experience in these matters, so I'll do what I can for you. Oh, by George, I, I must have had a touch of the sun. I completely forgot. I have most unfortunate news for you. Major Parkhurst died in Mombasa two days ago. Parkhurst died? By gosh, what did he die from? He was bitten by a scorpion. It's not usually fatal at all, but uh, he went into a blue funk and had a heart attack. The medical officer did all he could for him. The man died in the night. Most amazing. I say, Edward, uh, you're in charge now, aren't you?
your ferocious monster. Well, I hope you do, Mr. Commissioner. I assure you, I've had 15 years' experience with lions. Now then, Edward, as soon as it becomes dark, you and I will get up on the top of that platform and we will wait there quite safely. Between my trap and my bullets, your ferocious lion will be a trophy by morning. You stupid idiot! Are you still up there playing with that rope? Come down, I say! <laughs> Trap drops, shoot, shoot, and keep on shooting. Great sport, they say. Quiet. Huh? Listen. What? There. No, nothing. I you see nothing. <coughs> He's there! <coughs> oh, cut! Stop shooting, you'll break the trap. Well, uh, uh, look here. Come on, we'll get a shot at closer range. Tell him, right! Tell him, I'll find him, the lantern. Hold it high. Give it to me. Oh, I got him all right, all right. Your monster man, he's it. Commissioner? Yes. May I introduce you to a hyena. <laughs> well. Where are you, stupid knife? You jump out of my hand. When I cut the rope, now you hide from me. Good hunting, Mr. Commissioner. Uh, Doctor. I'm not a man to talk personalities, but I must state quite frankly that uh, Mr. Haywood is not a man made of the material for African colonials. No, indeed. And it shall go in my reports. Now, the place to kill that lion, all lions, is not here, but out in the bush. And his refusal to go is inexplicable. I'm sure, sir, that you will take care of the matter. Indeed, I will. Go ahead, He's gone. Oh, it'll work out, lad. He'll go back to Mombasa and get some help. I don't need any help. I'll get that scurvy lion myself. Here. He was a good little man. Told me only yesterday morning. Come to Africa to make enough money so that his wife and sister in Bombay wouldn't have to. 
I'm going to sit in the middle of that field tonight. Those devils want me, they can come get me. Robert, I think we'd better go back to Mombasa too, Doctor. I think you'd better go and make yourself a cup of tea. Trouble. Are you all right, lad? Are you all right? Yes, yes, of course. Those devils all night nothing and never came near the camp. By gosh, is that a reason for anger? Get to bed, lad. You need your sleep, Morgan. Water! Water! Simba! Simba, all amazing, but water, I do. Water! Water! Simba, all amazing, water, Yango. What? Answer me where? Zivolamaji, Kandu, Kandu, Zivolamaji. What is it? What is it? What's the matter? Take care of him. The commissioner's hurt on the other side of the lake. I'll take care of him, and then I'll follow you. No, I'll bring him back here.
believe in you, laddie. All of them. Come to you in friendship, great lion hunters. The greatest in all Africa. Mimi Nakuja Kwarafiki. Wawinda Makuba Yasimba. Wawinda Makuba Kabisa. Musungu Ore. Hairo Roke Menye Oie. Il Mirambo Toro Olon Masi. Tutu Mora. That's what do they say. Well, they helped me kill the lion and bring honor to their tribe. Ndio Bwana. Nejoki. Ipwanu Nu. Poking, then go out. A man isn't a man in this tribe unless he's killed his lion, armed only with a spear. Wee wee. Mujumbe mukubwa yamasai anolisa bwana kamazawadi yarafiki pundu kimoha. No, the chief knows that guns are forbidden. I'll pay many blankets. Nejo a a oro, barin gete si dai. You wanted to know if I pay with a rifle? Not a chance. Uh, they could do with a few clean blankets. The jumbe me kubwa asema bwana. Wata uwa simba maskini. He ile tia hofu wewe nam jeni na ye use. Shouting Zuri. We'll do it. In a few hours, we'll be back at work again. Saan gapi wata uwa simba. When the sasa hivi bwana kuleta morani. I'll do it now. I'll go get the young warriors. That blasted lion is as good as dead. Angus, you're going to get your adventure. Well, when you're very young or very old, living is an adventure. Quiet.
gosh, two of them. Look at that. Two of them. nothing to do with you. Bury your dead, let them bury theirs. Go on, get back. Tell you, Joe, get back. Mr. Speaker, I would like to ask the Colonial Secretary a question. Is it a fact that the building of a British railway, financed by British capital, is being held up by two lions, supposedly man-eaters? If, gentlemen, this Kenya situation is true, it is indeed a shocking state of affairs, and one which does serious damage to our prestige among the tribes of that area. Gentlemen, this incident should be... What good are fires? much to do. Aye. As soon as this blasted malaria attack's over, I'm going back to Mombasa. All right. Oh, not to leave you, lad, but to get help. Aye, no, I mean help. <coughs> it's, it's been three weeks, lad, and with last night, it's 20 dead. Oh, I'm no good to help you, but you... You kind of do it by yourself. Who are you going to get in Mombasa? Drunken innkeepers, rum-soaked sailors, ex-slave traders? Well, they do better than the ones who've tried. <sighs> Come on, at this rate, it'll take a week. Look, you're the ones that made the lions. Take those caves. Thank <laughs> you. 
Drayton. Sir William Drayton. Well, but you're now obviously not interested in me. I say, old chap, why did you kiss your wife? We've come to help you shoot those lions of yours. She insisted on coming. We couldn't stop her. hunting days in India. I remember one afternoon I was out of the Raj of camp at after Big Boot. Tiger, of course. Latham's got a new victim. He's on the Raj of camp story now. <laughs> well, there really is no hunting like India. For my part, Africa's like Kew Gardens. <laughs> By George, this has been going on for a millennium. I appreciate their enthusiasm, but oh, after all... Speaking of enthusiasm... <laughs> it was Lady Drayton. If not for her, they never would have changed their minds, but she insisted. I don't know whether to bless her or hate her. I heard so little from you. Surely your dear father read you the Major's reports. Nothing's changed. Started like a whirlwind, and as usual, I... Rob. I beg your pardon, Mr. Hayward, but don't you think it's about time we started moving on to the Wakamba? Yes, yes, of course, Angus. Where are we going now? Well, the neighboring tribes. They've heard of the great Buana hunters arriving, so they set out runners inviting us to Ngoma, a dance in their honor. Oh, good heavens, Hayward, we don't have to go to another one of these. We hunt in both the Masai and Wakamba countries. If we don't pay our proper respects, we might have difficulty. Oh, well, we're all right. Personally, I've had quite enough of East Indian caterwauling. East African music might be quite a relief. I say, this is a bit more like it, both male and female. You know, I arrived at the time when I was hunting leopard near Siam. I believe it was just outside Angola. We ran into a group of natives. I believe it was just at sundown. It's quite hot it is now. Mike Dunbar, I was a small brown fellow, not too reliable. I turned to Sir Geoffrey and I said... It's on the Siam story now. Well, it's most colorful, this, but I certainly will be pleased when we can be on our way. After all, we do have to get ready for tomorrow's hunt. I should be watching this wonderful dancing, but there's so much I want to know. How he's been, what's happened to him. I keep looking at you and thinking of your long and terrible journey. You've been with him all these months. Tell me about him. Everything went fine for 200 miles until the lions came. Tell me about him. Oh, it'll be all right now that they are here. And you are here. Ha, ha, ha. 
Uh, I couldn't manage another bite, not even a nibble. I'm absolutely saturated with food. Oh, two hours from now, you'll be into the tins for sustenance. I've uh, forgotten there was food as good as this. I knew it. The moment I got old and grey, I'd be thrown on the rubbish heap. <laughs> you know, one has a feeling about these things. The moment I saw this chap and his woman in Mombasa, I said to myself, there's a cook. Yes, and I said to myself, the moment I set eyes on this progeny of theirs, there's a nuisance. <laughs> <laughs> He's a darling. Well, there's nothing like fresh venison cleverly cooked. Uh, what is this, Impona? Thompson's gazelle. Oh, oh yes, very fine. You know, I'm reminded of many years ago in Singapore where I'd gone to shoot Salang. I remember I was invited to a dinner which was served fried python. My gun there, her most undeniable fellow. Oh, it's python. Python I've had there. But did you ever taste that African snake? Um, what's the name of it? Uh, mamba. Stewed mamba. Yes, but they say that if you've never tasted fresh lion liver, you've never really eaten. Tremendously good for men. That is the constitution. Now, gentlemen, I have eaten something that makes what you're talking about look like baby smush and milk. What's that, eh? Eh? Well, near Balak in Stirlingshire is Loch Lomond. And in Loch Lomond is a fish called the Squidump. Oh, gentlemen, there's eaten. Or why? What? Well, we don't talk about it much in, in Balak, but uh, the water of the loch, uh, lake as you call it, is very hot. Boiling, as you might say. And Mr. Fish, he holds onto the rock so tight that when you pull him up, he leaves his bones behind. And on the way up through the water, he catches a bit of seaweed in his mouth so that when you finally land him, He's boiled and boned, aye, and with a bit of salad thrown in. <laughs> uh, gentlemen, if I might suggest, I think this little chap should be in his bed and we should be in ours, if you don't mind. Of course not. We'll set up some extra tents. No, 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 we anticipated this. We've all, uh, we're fully equipped to sleep in our railway car. Most comfortable, thank you. Well, that's fine. Night, you need blankets? Oh, no, we've all our own supplies. My gosh, there's a good guest. Brings his own cook and his own bedroom. <laughs> good night. I know we'll have good hunting in the morning. Good night, Sir William. Sleep well. Good night. Good night, Mr. Hayward. Good night, Hayward. Good night. You know, you should imagine when I was shooting grouse Latham, all four and I, up in the uh, highlands. Latham, I think we should continue all this in the morning. These two young people haven't been together for a long time. Doctor, you better turn in with us. Not much room in that treehouse, you know. Oh, all right. I'll bring along my old nightcap with me. Uh, good night, Mrs. Hayward. Good night, Doctor. G good night, Robert. Good night, Angus. I am very tired. Of course. away. Rob. Yes? All these weeks on shipboard, I've had so many words to say to you. You came into my life so quickly, I hardly knew you. I don't know you now. Could have saved yourself the journey. I told you. All you had to do was read your father's correspondence. My father, my father. Is it still my father? No. Well, I put 10,000 miles between myself and failure. Yet, it's here. Are there lions? First, I didn't want to believe there were any lions. Because if there were, it meant another chance to fail. Now, the gentlemen of the hunt come here to save me from that. I love you. 
love you. I don't understand you. You love me? And go on, deal the cards, man. You're as slow as an old aunt genie. Make your breakfast. You won't have time. If all life could be as wonderful. Saif, Saif. What do you want? Saif, stop looking right there. Yes. 
luck is out. Come on, we need much more wood. find his relatives in Mombasa. Why, this one, that's mine. You must come with me. To Mombasa, yes. To England. This is father's railroad. He'll send someone else. Alice, it's not the railway. I've got to kill them. Don't you understand? I've got to kill them. Someone else killed them. Come home with me. You're going home. Oh, no, I'm not. All those months not knowing whether you were dead or alive... I was a widow then. I might as well stay here and be one now. Look, Alice. I won't go without you. I'd rather run out in the bush and be dead. I won't go. Day. Come and eat something. It's no time. Oh, please, just for a few minutes, out of the sun. No, don't you understand? We'll finish this ditch, fill it with thorns. If we can keep those devils away from you and the men, I get a chance to hunt them down. To dig a moat like this, it'll take you weeks. Alice, I haven't time to talk anymore. Tell him to be quick. I have work to do. What is it? What's the matter? I don't know. Some kind of palaver. Sasa hivi. Pesi, pesi. Nejo are tate nji. Hola lasa masa uta. Hola lasa ngoa. Ngoa masa intua. Utu vi utu ya. Majumbi asema. Simba ale uwa nguru yaki yusiku. Wana lazma kwenda sasa hivi. Tell him not to threaten me. I'll not be threatened. What is it? What are they saying? Siku and Billy. Brother, that chief was killed last night. The lions? They blame us. They say they're not lions, but devils. They brought them in with the railway. Tell them not to be fools. The lions were here before we came. Nejo, o iriruane, ololmase etoniku, opa. Nejo, kake ino, kiare ololmase, irakurete, irangoroyo? Shoman Sunga and Goro Iwani. A shoke take it out, the paramisai mayara. What's he saying? The Jumba Asema, Yasiku and Billy, Wana, Nam and Saab, Nam Jenny Hii, Lazumaku, Quenda Sasa Hidi, Quainchi, Lamasai. Siku and Billy. Two days to get out? Who oh, the devil are they? Well, not get out. We got as much right. Tell them to go. Get out. Quando wait, wait, quando what to what they get out!
opposite bank and overhang. One of them does manage to leap that far, you'll fall back into the thorns. You imagine those Maasai giving ultimatums. I'll bake bread today. I'll, I'll sift the flour. It ought to be all right. We lost a month. We still have time before the early rains. If I can build the culverts first. I can do it, Alice. I tell you, I can do it. Of course you can. Those devils didn't come last night. They must be gorged. If I can finish this ditch before too many more are lost, I'll... I'll have enough men left to finish this within a month. If we could get home by spring, Rob. Within a month. <laughs> metal in the way station. It costs more originally, but in the long view it means I gotta get back to work. Uh, I'll bring you tea later. Rob. Rob, where's the boy? Huh? The baby. Where's the baby? Mukosi! 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 Come back. It's getting dark. It's dark for the baby, too. Oh, please, Rob, make them go out. I can't leave that baby out there in the night. Who's your harper? Who's your harper? Places in the jungle where Chow could hide. Perhaps one of the Maasai picked him up. Was it Smith Trump? Tell me. Stop what... thinking like that. Alice, listen. You've got to get out. I'll take you to Mombasa tonight. The Maasai, you heard them. Tomorrow's when you've got to get out. We'll get help in Mombasa. Come, Alice, the train is. No. I can't leave the baby out there in the dark. Why didn't you wake me? Go on back. 
I can't stay there alone anymore. I'm going with you. Someone off. He went off there. I said. Are they devils? Are they? All the lions of all Africa. Come to kill all of us. Living the jungle full of lions dancing on our bones. Stop, stop it. Don't talk like that. Find some shade. So quickly, Alice, there was no pain. There couldn't be any pain. <laughs>
come for us, will you? Until it's dark. now. Go for me, you know, right? Go for me, you devil, you! Go for me, you devil, you! Thank you.